Reborn Beauties, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. We're trying a little bit of a different setup here. Hopefully this works, but I want to be able to engage with you guys when I'm doing a face situation, like face on. It makes it so much better. Um, we probably have to play with lighting a little bit and things of that sort, but you know, we got to start somewhere. I'm going to be showing you guys how to cover up an acne breakout before applying makeup. Now, I always say with an acne breakout, it is best for you to not wear any makeup, let the skin, you know, uh, heal, let the skin breathe, let the skin do what it needs to do. But at the same time, life is life. You want to go out, you want to go to work, and you don't want to have to not wear makeup. So there are some steps that I do when it comes to my makeup routine when I am having a little bit of acne breakout or a pimple or, you know, and I I want to make sure that I take care of that before I follow through with makeup. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. My face is already cleansed. I did put down some moisturizer and a toner. I kept my makeup really simple because I'm going to be using, I mean, sorry, I kept my skincare pretty simple because I'm going to be using a um, acne spot treatment. And I don't want to have too many ingredients going on in my skin that causes maybe it to have a reaction or whatnot. So when you're using anything, um, Treatment wise for the skin when it comes to acne, you definitely want to like limit the amount of ingredients that you are using. So, um, it is that time of the month and usually when that happens, either before, during, or after for me, I get breakouts of course in this area. If you guys can see, I do have um, a few breakouts here, here, here along the lower jawline on this side this side not so much there's like little ones but they're pretty like decent nothing too like crazy so i did already put down some of my dr zenobia alloy blemish control um moisturizer um and for the spot treatment so let me rewind before I, I usually apply the spot treatment after I apply a moisturizer um, or I can do it before the moisturizer before the moisturizer so I apply the spot treatment and then put the moisturizer down I do it either way it works either way um, I feel like sometimes putting the moisturizer down first kind of puts a barrier between the skin so that whatever goes on top of it treatment wise it's not too much on the skin because sometimes certain things can make me like red and irritated so you know, it just depends. The spot that I'm going to be using is a Dr. Zenobia's uh, Clear Complexion 9%, sorry, I don't have my glasses on, 5% 5 Benzoyl Peroxide Acne Spot Treatment. This is one of actually my favorite spot treatments. I've been using this for some time. And I'm just going to take some and I'm just going to pump it out onto my finger and I apply it to a whole area. Uh, I'm a little bit generous with this, even though it just says it's a spot treatment, your girl goes in sometimes like it's a little lotion <laughs> or it's like a little face moisturizer. So I do apply it to the area in which I am breaking out. Okay, and it's just going to help to um, heal the breakouts while you have makeup on or it treats the, it treats the breakouts while you have makeup on, okay? Give your skin a fighting chance, all right? After I apply that, I kind of just let it sit, let it absorb into the skin and all that good stuff. And then what I do is I will go in, if I put it on top, I will go with a moisturizer and I'll put a little bit of moisturizer over it. Some of these acne medicines or spot treatments can be a little abrasive on the skin. They can be a little rough and sometimes your skin can get a little red, but this just actually helps out with, um, just the process before applying my makeup. I want to make sure that my skin has a nice barrier. That's what I'm trying to say. You guys, my, my words today are just out the window. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Of course, you want to use a moisturizer that doesn't have anything, extra, no extra oils, nothing heavy. And Dr. Zenobia's Aloe Vera um, Blemish Soothing Moisturizer is perfect. If you have oily skin, I highly suggest this moisturizer. But all that is sitting on there and I just kind of let it sit for a little bit and let it dry. If you want to start to go on with your makeup, hold on. There's something else that I want to say. I, didn't, I, I completely forgot it. You guys might have to bear me through this video. I don't know where my mind is, but it's obviously not here on the planet, okay? It is off somewhere. So within your skincare, before you apply your makeup on, you want to use acne targeted um, products y'all my brain that's another way you can go about doing that so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to take my foundation that i'm going to use and this is where you can start to go ahead and do your thing um i just apply my foundation like i regularly would but you of course are just making sure to 
cover up where you need to. I like to stipple, stipple drag. I don't know if that's what it's called, stipple drag. <laughs> I don't know. But I like to kind of like pat the face and drag my foundation a little bit. And it just helps to move it around. And it just also helps to set it into the skin. And it's also a great way not to irritate your skin okay because you don't want to like drag and pull and do all this you just want to have more of like a gentle tapping on the face just kind of helping that foundation to get in there and not being too rough with the face okay and then you guys can see it covered up pretty well okay this is pretty nice i like a very natural looking face i don't like anything that is overly done and um i just like a nice natural face and then plus i put powder on top so great and then i just go ahead and i just do the same thing with the rest of my face all right so my face is pretty much covered i'm going to go on with my powder and this is the maybelline fit me 310 um, powder and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to apply that on top just to set everything like it's pretty covered I don't have any redness my bumps are pretty you know hidden and um, my skin is treated before of course I put on my makeup so that is a simple way that you can make sure you treat the face before you apply any makeup on the face um, but if you really do have really bad breakouts I suggest no makeup at all because I can really irritate it and, uh, and you guys know breakouts or pimples underneath makeup does not look good it doesn't matter how much smoothing you try to do how much contouring and layering on more also makes it even worse so if you have a lot of breakouts suggest like not wearing any makeup but if you have little pimples and things that you just want to cover up but you want to make sure you are also nourishing the skin that is a great way to go about it please do not leave this video without subscribing liking and sharing this video with a friend also make sure to go ahead and check out my etsy shop body care by units where i hand make and customize skincare for you i also have ebooks and skincare trackers which are great tools for you to use for skincare knowledge thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in a later video